Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekabout. I am Penge, and it is time for a little bit more foundation. And here is Cupboard Town. Cupboard Town looking really rather good. Oh, it's going very, very well. I'm sure I can mess it up very soon. Last time out, we built the church. We built the church just here, which looks really good. I love the church. It looks very, very good indeed. It's got like a blue and white theme. It's got a spire. It's got a cross. It's got gargoyles. Most importantly, it has a stained glass window at the front and a little parade of trees. Look, this person here, who are you? Willemin, Willemin, or Willemin, however you pronounce it, is staring in awe at the stained glass window. She is just in absolute awe of this marvel, this marvel of religious iconography here. Stained glass, man, I don't know what the picture's <laughs> off, but whatever, there you go, it's multicolored glass, it looks very, very pretty. She's just staring in awe, and the villagers have, have loved the church. The villagers of Cubber Town have, have gone crazy for the church, so much so that most of them have upgraded their homes. I don't know why, to look more impressive to the church, I'm not entirely sure. So... When you build a house, the first sort of style of house that we had was this one here. So I, I don't quite know what era this is from, but whatever, pre-medieval era. So a thatched roof, plaster walls, timber frame, that's it. Then we've kind of gone to this house now. A lot of them upgraded to this more medieval looking house. So you've got your stone base, which is very exciting. You've kind of got tiles up here. I assume they're tiles. You've got a timber frame. You've got plaster. You've got little sticky out bits. I don't know what the point of that is. I don't know why you need a sticky out bit there. But there we go. Lots of exciting sort of building designs are popping up. It all looks very, very good indeed. And also loads of new homes are being built. Loads and loads of new homes are being built around the church. So these are upgrades. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six kind of upgrades going on over here because this one is currently being upgraded. I think that's new. There's a new house there. There's one, two, three, four, possibly five and six. They might be being upgraded. But certainly all these are new houses. There's an awful lot of new housing going on. And that brings me to the first action that we're going to do. And thank you very much commenting people for uh, for pointing this out to me. Uh, a lot of people are waiting. A lot of people are waiting for goods and resources. And I think that's because we don't have many builders or transporters. We've got loads of gatherers and carpenters and all that kind of stuff. But what we need... Look, there's loads of people with no jobs. There's loads of unemployed people, particularly female 192, whatever number that is there. So, um, yeah, we need to get ourselves more builders to go and do the actual building and more transporters to start ferrying goods around. So, uh, Jean, you can be a builder. Enjoy yourself. Harry, you can be a builder. Uh, oh, goodness me. Kuni Gunde, you can be a builder. And Claude, you can be a builder. They want to get Victoire, which is a great name. Uh, you can be a transporter, transporting resources. Henry, you can be a transporter. Female 1920. Female 1920 can also be a transporter. As can female 1447. And female 1750. And also Martin. <laughs> Slightly less dramatic name than female 15790 or whatever it was. But there we go. Transporter. So we've got several transporters. And that leaves us three people with no jobs. Which is absolutely fine. Now I have noticed since we last played the game has been updated. And up here there is a little difference. They've taken out the three kind of metrics that had no bearing on the game. So they weren't implemented yet. I think it was like loyalty, labour and piety. Piety I pronounce it. So the, you know, the churchy one. The church hats. The religious hats. The religious hats have gone. Which is fine, because they didn't do anything in the current version of the game. But they have added more of these in, the more of the actual important resources. Because before, it showed us up to planks. It didn't show us wheat, flour, or bread. And bread is one of the important sort of measurements of happiness. So there we go. Lacking berries is... Actually, that's quite high still. Minus 5.66 for lacking berries. But yeah, I could not find bread. Minus 6.18, which is affecting our happiness. So yeah, I think it's quite important they put bread on there. Let's just, uh, let's just move time on a little bit. Now, hopefully... We should see an increase in the amount of things being built. Now, I've got loads more builders and loads more people moving stuff about. I think that should help. Let's go over and just check. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The plebs. The plebs have got more empowering, uh, empowering, imposing houses than I have. This is supposed to be my house, my fancy house. Look, he's, this this Normo's house is dwarfing mine. No, oh, dearie me. I'm about to go and build myself a slightly better house. Let's go through and check that everybody is... Uh, that everything, every little sort of industrial building, if you like, that needs jobs assigned to it, has got actually people working in it. And the maximum amount. Because we've got a lot of people. We might as well make sure that we're using everything correctly. So yes, one out of one. It's all looking very good. I think it should all be fine. I think it should all be fine. They've got two workers at the warehouse. That's that's got no people working in it. Alright, there you go. Female 1335 and Yolandi can work in there. Why would that sawmill have nobody in it? Why would that have nobody inside it? How intriguing. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. 
and the baker is... Ah, that's a change they've made. So in the previous, uh, previous part, I built a new bakery over here and it had slots for two workers, yet the old ones only had slots for one worker. But it now seems that the patch has fixed that so we can assign some more people. Uh, do we have enough people? Yes, we do. Right, how many people have we got? How many people have we got that have no job? That's it. That is it. Everybody now has a job. So we need to wait for some more people to come in. More people are upgrading their houses. We don't have very much flour. We've got a lot of wheat. Not much in the way of flour. That's got two flour in it just there. That's got no flour because it's got no wheat. Uh, okay. Maybe we need another windmill. Possibly another windmill. Right. Two new villagers that are joining. That's quite useful. I think we get ourselves another windmill right now. Let's just rotate it around so it looks the same as the other ones. Let's put that there. Another windmill. That will help. Because, yeah, the problem now seems to be bread. The problem seems to be we can't make enough bread because we haven't got enough flour. So, yeah, another windmill will hopefully help. We've got two new people coming in, which means that one of them can work in there. One of them could be like a transporter, transporting goods around. That's all looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. All these buildings have been upgraded now because we've got more builders and more transporters to transport their goods around. We've got more planks and stuff now because this sort of now actually has someone in it. Uh, has everyone else, has everything else kind of got people populated in it then? No, look there. Okay, one of you. Oh no. Where's the new people? Are the new people here yet? No. Okay, right. Let's wait for the new people to arrive and let's just go and make sure that everything else has got people assigned to it. Yeah, I don't know why... That wouldn't have someone assigned to it. I swear they would have all had people assigned to them. So I'm not entirely sure why that one does not. And whilst we wait for our new villagers to arrive. So we can actually sort of man these things. And make sure that people are working in them. What we're going to do today is that the grand overall plan. Is to put in the final buildings that we haven't got. Because I think this is the full list of buildings that are available in the version of the game. Because it's in alpha and all that kind of jibbity jobbity, All that stuff. These are the final buildings that we can build. So we can build ourselves a sheep farm, which produces wool. We can then build a weaver's hut to then take the wool and make it into clothes. And then we can build a clothes market to then sell the clothes, which makes a lot of sense. So a sheep farm just produces wool. It doesn't produce anything else. Like, you know, milk. You can have sheep milk, can't you? Or meat. You would have thought maybe you might kill them for meat. I don't know, but maybe that's, you know, later on. Maybe that's a later thing that we shall see in future versions. So once we've got everything sorted, we've got the new people in. We're making sure that everything currently in place, currently in situ, is, you know, is working fine. And we've got people assigned to everything. We'll then start building a sheep farm, I think. Sheep farm and a weaver set. Now, I don't know how the sheep farm works. Do we zone out an area for the sheep farm? As in a farming area like that one with this thing? I'm not entirely sure. Well, do you know what we could do with doing? Let's just take it, take that off there, look. Because we don't want them to build a field around the bakers. Well, I know they need easy access to the uh, to the wheat and stuff, but that's you know, it's a little bit extreme. So, um, yeah, I think we might put the farm down here, the sheep farm. See how that works. Oh, look, it's properly working. They're properly upgrading all their buildings. It looks very good. These people here are now thinking, oh, dear, Grace and Agnes, yeah, you need to, uh, you need to upgrade your building. You look like the commoners now. You look like plebs. Yeah, look, more stuff going on. That's a new house, is it? I'm not entirely sure how you determine what's a... Yeah, that's being upgraded. That's that's fine. Like, this here is a new house. House level one. Oh, I don't really understand what's going on with that. But okay. So yeah, I'm going to try and build round here. And it would be nice to have another kind of sort of village centre over here. Because there's berries and stone. So if we could sort of try and formulate another sort of uh, a centre, city centre even, over here... It's sort of a bit like we've got here, but over here, that'd be quite good. And the, the village, the, the town, it's covered town. I don't know quite what constitutes a town. Could start growing down here a little bit, I think. But how, how have we got those new people in? Are they here? Yes, they are. Female, 116 something, and Otto. Clearly, they have more... <laughs> either, either they've got less female names than male names, or we've gone through so many ladies in this place that we've used up all the female names. And, uh, yeah, we've gone to new numbers, numeric naming. There we go. Otto can go and work in that little market. Right, I'm just going to go through and check that everywhere else now has the right amount of people assigned to it. Yep, everything now seems to have a person in it. So everything should be working at kind of optimal, <laughs> optimal sort of uh, speeds, which is very good. I've bumped the priority up of the windmill because we need that to be finished. They're hopefully working on that. They've brought the stone in. Although I don't really understand bringing the stone in. This is clearly wood, but okay. So no planks have gone in, just stone. So I've got this wooden structure out of the stone they brought in. Two new people are joining. That's good. So that means we can now, by the time that this building's finished, 
uh, they will be joined, they'll be in. So we can make female 1116, whatever, a transporter. And that's probably important because we need more people to shift all the goods around. Because now we're growing, we've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we need to move around. So if we hurry this on, I want to get this done. I really want to get this completed. So they've brought in the final bits of timber. Now it's just the tools. Which again, yeah, I think I said this before. I'm going to assume the tools are... Uh, yeah, like hammers and nails and screws and things to fit everything together. But yeah, this should be done pretty soon. Yep, and yo, the pointy bits on. The pointy bits on the roof. And ta-da, there we go, splendid. Right, have we got people to work in here now? Yes, female, another generic female name can work in there. Oh, Julian can go and work in there. Okay, that's good. So hopefully we'll have another, another load of flour coming in. Because we've got 50 wheat, but... The flour just keeps depleting so quickly. The flour just goes down so quickly. So, um, yeah, but it'd be good if you could have two people working in the windmill. But never mind, you know, to make it work doubly as fast. So, yeah, they're just doing exactly what they can. They are frantically trying to do what they can to make enough flour. It may be that we need another one of those. Right, two more villagers joining. That is a good thing. Lots of stuff going on over here. I've got 700, 700 gold. Yeah, okay, so we've bought some tools. That's absolutely fine. Let's go through and buy some more territory, shall we? For no reason other than the fact that I'm wasting all my gold. So let's just buy that bit. Yay. Building complete road signs. Oh, yeah, I built some road signs. I have no idea what they do, but they're all finished now. That's good. <laughs> Yay, road signs. What do they do? What's the point? No info for building. I think they're just a cosmetic thing at the minute. Maybe they'll uh, speed something up, possibly. Maybe they'll increase the speed of people if they've got a road sign on the road or something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. It's all looking good. The houses down here have been completed. I think most of the building work is now being done. They're starting building some new houses and stuff. I want to get this bit done down here first. So this bit down the sort of the, the back of the church. I don't really know. Would you go in through this door? Near the through the spire, the steeply bit, or would you go in through the fancy front door? I'd hope that that would be the front of the church. The one here. But okay, whatever. I want to get these buildings done first. When everything is kind of a bit more settled. When they've done all the upgrading and done all this sort of stuff here, we should then start building our sheep farm and trying to create a new sort of town centre, or at least a new sort of uh, centre area over here. Okay, I think if I wait for this to be done, I'll be waiting forever because they keep obviously adding new buildings. So these buildings here have been built, pretty much. This one here is waiting and this one here is being upgraded. But then, yeah, look, there's one, two, three, four, five new buildings just popping up around the back. There's so many buildings being built. So I think we just get on with it. I think we just get on with this now. Uh, I think bread is looking okay. We're getting through the wheat. So that's good. So we're burning away through the wheat, which means they're making flour, which means they're making more bread, which is good. And our bread thing is minus nine. So yeah, almost 10. So 10% of our happiness is being lost through a lack of could not find bread. We might just come and address that, possibly. But let's get our sheep farm in. So I don't know how this works currently. Don't know how this is going to work. So let's put a sheep farm just... Uh, let's put it in those trees, because then it'll kind of build round here. Because there's a nice big flat area for that. But the only thing I don't know is... What do we need to do for a sheep farm? Do we need to zone out a farming area? Let's um, yeah, let's up the priority of that because that looks like an important sort of building. Do we zone out one of these? A farm field. Okay, let's take the residential bit off for now. Let's just drop that out round there like so. Uh, and then do we put a farm field in? Do we like say, yes, this is this is farm field territory, please. Can you do that or or not? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I don't know how the farm, the, the sheep farm works just yet. So let's find out. So yeah, they're frantically working on it. They've got the tools for it. Got all the stuff, which is good. So yeah, they need some wood. And yeah, now wood. We're a bit low on wood currently. A bit low on regular wood. Maybe we can do something about that. Maybe we need to build another woodcutter camp somewhere and get on with that. I don't know. Or maybe another forester camp. Where's the reforesting thing? Where's the reforesting zone? Uh, oh, it's all the way across there, but there's only one of them. There's only one person in a forester camp. So maybe they're struggling to repopulate all the trees over here. Maybe we build ourselves another forester camp. That might be a good plan. Uh, where's the front? Just there. Uh, can we put it up on this hill? Can we put that there? Is that even going to work? I don't know. So then, yeah, another forester could help forest this, which means these guys don't have to go quite so far for trees. So that might help, because at the minute they're having to go quite a long way away. Obviously, we are burning through wood at the minute. We are, well, not literally burning through wood. That would be a waste. But we are working our way through lots of wood, because people are building so many houses, and they all require wood. Oh, look at it. It's, it's gone ballistic. Even in this short video, though, thus far, 
We've got all these things around here. Most of the buildings are now upgraded. Also, the new buildings being constructed are the regular ones that are then being upgraded. Look at it. It's crazy. You need to upgrade your house. I think that's what you need to do. More villagers are joining. This is good. Is the sheep farm finished? No, they're making a little path to it. A slightly obscure path round that way. Would have thought through there would have been easier, but okie dokie. Is it nearly finished? Uh, oh yeah, it's just a lack of wood. It is It is literally the, the raw logs. Not even planks. It's just logs that are required. So hopefully they can bring those in fairly soon, I would have thought. Yeah, there's some more. Harry is assigned to the construction. Good job, Harry. Right, let's have ourselves... Oh my goodness, we've got loads of people coming in. Uh, Alright, well you can have another... Ooh, didn't like that. Another transporter. And female 470. Ooh, oh, wow, you're only a three-digit female. Uh, you can be a builder, which is good. Because there's a lot of building work going on. And everyone else, yeah, I just need to build some more things for people to come and work here. My goal is, I want to get 100 people. I'd love to have 100 people working here. Oh, yeah, look, another house is springing up. Another house is appearing. Maybe that's why they're not building a path there. Uh, is that part of the, the thing? The sheep farm. Yes, it is. Okay. Right, I'd like it if they finish this. And let's just, let's just hurry this on until this is finished. Okay, I think this might be the final act of the sheep farm. Harry is bringing two bits of wood. That's all we need, two bits of wood. So once Harry gets here, is that Harry? It is. There is Harry, and it's finished. And weirdly enough, they haven't removed the trees. <laughs> so it's still surrounded by trees. I thought they might cut those trees down first, but okay. What we could do is, what we could do, let's put time back to, to normal. Let's just slow it down. Could we not zone this as, a, as an extraction area now? Get rid of those trees there, please, fellas. Come on, let's chop these trees down. Because they're just sort of in the way a bit now. <laughs> That's a bit strange. Okay, well, if we can see through the trees... Yeah, I thought they might have chopped them down rather than build the house around the trees. It says here, spawn a sheep. Oh, we need a villager first. So Richard, Richard the sheep farmer, can go and do that. Right, it says spawn sheep. Ta-da! There's a sheep. Okay. Does the sheep just wander off wherever it likes? Where is the sheep going? Sheep... You're not a villager. Where are you off? No, you're going for a little walk. You're going for a tiny little walk there. Do we have a sheep dog or anything to keep him under control? Uh, I, I, okay, I don't really understand where the sheep is going. <laughs> the sheep's having... Oh! Gatherer could not find resource in zone extraction. Why gatherer? Oh, no, we haven't burnt through our berries if we're anything silly. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me we've gone through the berries. Don't tell me we've gone through the berries. No, we haven't. We haven't gone through the berries. Okay, that's a very annoying error message. Okay, it, it, it only started when I put this extraction thing in. Let's take that out. Let's take that out, because that's really irritating, that noise. They can just have the trees there. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. But the sheep just seem to wander about. The sheep are not actually in the farm. The sheep are not in the farm. Oh, the sheep has got big, though. The sheep has got huge. It's just a great big ball of wool. It's, <laughs> look at it. It's like a... Great big cloud, just sort of floating about. Okay, right you are. Okay, that's fun. Uh, well, I don't know. Do we want more sheep? Let's have that. <laughs> Come on, don't abuse, it says. I just pressed the button a lot. I don't know. I don't know how many sheep I'm allowed. I'm a bit confused. They're not sort of hemmed in with some sort of pasture. They're just sort of free to roam, are they? Can they go through gates? Do we need to build a little sort of gated area? We can build a fence. So do we need to build a fence for the sheep? To, I mean, can they? do they walk through the fence? I'm not entirely sure. Let's build a little area for the sheep and see if that actually works. I, do you know what? I'll put money on the fact that it doesn't. I'll put 700 gold on the fact that it won't work. But uh, okay, let's try. There's a fence. Nope. <laughs> the, she <laughs> the sheep aren't bothered by, you know, simple things like physics. Pa. Physics doesn't bother me. I have a sheep that can walk through walls. There we go. Well, that kind of looks right to me. I'm fairly sure that they just walk through the building. And they'll uh, they'll work their way back in. I'm, I'm fairly certain. Okay, so we should be producing wool, technically. We should be producing wool, if this is to be believed. I'm a little bit dubious, if I'm honest. I'm a little bit dubious. Uh, where was the... There's a little resources panel somewhere, wasn't it? Where was that? A uh, little resources panel was somewhere or the trade budget. Oh, I don't know where it was. Where's the resources panel? Ah, there it is. Toggle resource panel. That thing there. So, yeah, this doesn't even have wool in the thing. <laughs> wool doesn't even appear in there. Oh, no, there, there, there. We've got a wool. We've got one wool. 
We've got one wool. It's working. It does work. Richard has sheared a sheep and we now have one wool. I'm a bit confused by the sheep one. I like the way they follow the paths. They are very obedient sheep. <laughs> well done. Good job. Yeah, I, I, I like I like the sheep. I like the fact they look quite comical. They look sort of fun. But um, it's a bit weird that they just wander about wherever they like. But okay, whatever. I'll go with it. One wool is is good i suppose i'm not entirely sure yeah this is, i don't need wool at the minute now bread is a problem oh oh right yes we haven't got much in the way of wheat have we oh dear yes we might need to concentrate on that oh the it's <laughs> it's huge this place is massive it's brilliant uh we might need to build ourselves another farm i suspect another farm might be quite useful with some more windmills possibly and some more bakers well we've got room here why don't we build a farm over here and then put some more windmills over this side. And then we can have more bread sort of coming from this way. We can take into here and what have you. I don't think the distance is particularly that, that important. I like that idea. Let's do that. Build a public building. Build me a farm. Uh, I don't think it matters particularly which way. That'll do. Let's just put the farm. Uh, in fact, yeah, we want it to be near a road though, don't we? How about we build the farm there? Like so. And then we shall have the farm field area. Ah, okay. I've sort of already done that then, haven't I? I've already put that there. Let's not have it being built in the sheep. <laughs> that would be weird. But yeah, down here, look. Because this land is quite fertile. Maybe not there. That's not that's not a good bit of land. But here, look. And even up here, possibly, as well. So do that. Extract those trees. It'd be quite nice. Get rid of those trees. That'd be good. Um, and then, yeah, the farm can sort of go in here, and then we can get ourselves some more windmills and what have you around here, and there'd be a baker down here as well, which would be quite cool. Okay, yeah, this is a plan. This is a plan. It's probably a terrible plan that won't work, but I like plans that don't work. I'm good at them. Okay, so there's a little button down here that toggles the uh, development zones on or off. So at the minute, I'm going to keep that on, and I'm going to make sure that where I build the windmills is not where the farm's going to be. So I think if we build a windmill there, and a windmill there because we know we need more than one windmill one windmill just isn't enough it doesn't cut the mustard we need more than one so there's two windmills there which is very very good and why not next to that why don't we just do the whole hog down here as well let's pop a bakery down here as well next door and then a well could kind of go just there which is a good idea let's drop a well in as well and that looks quite good so we'll have a farm here they can transport the stuff here there can be paths coming around there's a path here this whole little bit can be a sort of livable area right has that affected the desirability of this in any way shape or form no so still nobody wants to live down here okay what we need to do is get this bit looking good we need this bit to be desirable we want people to live over here so what can we do to make people live over here berry gathering i think is probably a good idea we still need some more berries we need some more wood as well. We need some more wood. Maybe we put another woodcutty camp thing over here and another sawmill over here. Maybe that's what we do. We recreate this bit where we started all over again over here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? So let's get ourselves a gathering camp. Let's get ourselves two of those. So pop those on either side of the berries. That's fine. Well, I say berries, the mushrooms, but it's fine. Those there. Stonecutter camp. One of those could go... I don't know where the front of the stone cuts camp is. Do you know what? Just there will do. It's next to some stone. Then we want ourselves a woodcutter camp. And we could put that... Yeah, let's put that here. Let's get rid of all this wood along this hill over here. So let's do that. So let's put the woodcutter camp... Uh, let's do one there and one there. That looks fun. Then we shall get ourselves extraction. And we shall go, yeah, extract. All... Oh, let's make it bigger. Oh no, and it's auto-saving and the weird noise is happening. Oh dear, it's all gone a bit strange. Um, there we go, that's better. Let's do that. So extract all of that, like so. And all those trees just there as well. And that's not as quick as I would like. A little bit, little bit of a lag going on there when I'm dragging this thing out, but that's fine. Uh, also, that there, that could be doing with being demolished. And then we want to make sure that that is also set for extraction. Yes, you can have the berry things. Yes, you can also have the stone just there. That's absolutely fine. Right, sort all that out. That'll be quite good. We need a warehouse over here to put things in. So we've got a woodcutter thing. Oh, let's drop a well. This is going to be a centre. This is going to be kind of residential sort of centre area. We want to get this here. Uh, in fact, pause, 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 pause. Let's just pause time a sec. Do a massive thing. So yes, everyone can live kind of... Here, if you so wish. Draw a massive shape out like that. 
I like the way the uh, zones overlap. That's very, very good. I like that a lot. Right, so do that. Everyone can live here. That's all fine. Except, don't live here, because this is going to be like a middle. So don't build houses there. This can be the centre where we can have all the different trade buildings. So we can have these things in. In fact, you know what might help as well? Decorative bushes. Let's do some of those. Let's do one, two, three, four of those. And some decorative trees. Let's drop them into the middle. One, two. Oh, look at the desirability. People are like, yes, I want to live over there. They've got decorative trees right there. And then get ourselves a bread market just here. I like this. And then, and then a gatherer market. Let's face that the other way. Just here. That's good. And then a well can go, uh, whatever. There, that'll do. A well can pop just, let's put it there actually. Just there. Yes, this is looking good. Got all that. We need a sawmill now from these. So we need a sawmill. So when the, you know, the trees are cut down, they need to do something with them. Let's pop a sawmill in there. So hopefully they'll cut that down eventually. So let's drop a sawmill in. I think that's looking pretty good. I mean, oh yeah, a warehouse might be useful over here as well. So let's drop the warehouse slightly off there. Uh, there will do. Let's drop it like that. Just there. Like so. Okay, that looks good. I like the look of that. It's got all the stuff in that we need, all the important things. Uh, and maybe, maybe we, can we do a, can we like just basically draw people this way? Can we just haul people over here? There'll be a field here, but they could come in around this way or through there. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, that's a good idea. Residential zone, all that bit. Yes, go and live here. These are good places as well. And if we make ourselves a little path, where is it? Decorative trees. So if we go, yep, yeah, look, you want to come and live this way? Here's a little parade of trees around the edge of the farm. Isn't it pretty? People might think, ooh, that's a good place to live. Okay, that's quite a big project. We might need to speed time on and see how that goes. Okay, wow, they're already working on some of the stuff down here. This is tremendous. So we've got a woodcutter camp. So at the minute, let's just assign one person to each thing. So we've not got that many people with no jobs. Oh no, I tell a complete lie. Yeah, let's have two in there then. Two woodcutters down here. I imagine houses are going to start being built down here as well. Another two in that woodcutter camp. The well is sort of being done. Yeah, they've not quite got the well ready yet. They've got the structure in for the sawmill, which is very exciting. The warehouse has got some stuff in. Okay, yeah, this is working very, very well. The only thing I'm worried about now, the lack of berries. Let's turn off immigration for now. Let's switch that off because, yes, the lack of berries is somewhat disturbing. Oh, dear. Yes, that's plummeting quite a lot. Uh, could not find bread. It's still a bit of an issue. We could do with this farm being done, actually. Oh, maybe I've done, I've done too much too soon. I've got all giddy and excited again with the amount of nice buildings and my plan. But never mind. Never mind. This will be fine. It shall all work. We've got plenty of berries. I mean, yeah, right, there's no wheat and, and no flour and no bread or anything. That's fine. We've got people in the farm doing stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all be absolutely okay. Or everyone will leave because everyone's starving to death. One or the other. Annoyingly, they've prioritised the windmills before the actual farm. So that doesn't really help much, does it, with the sheep roaming around? Can we have the farm in first, please? I mean, yeah, we'll put someone in there. Female 1328, who is well known for her windmilling powers, is going to work in there. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, I would have preferred... I would have preferred a uh, the farm to be in first, if I'm completely honest. So yes, yeah, so I just need actual sort of planks to come in. Okay, well, there's woodcutters down here. Do you know what? Let's assign more people to the woodcuttery because then they might take stuff straight to that farm. They might just drop stuff straight into that farm, which would be immensely useful. Ah, yes, the forester camp. Of course, I need to assign someone to the forester camp. So Pierre has been assigned to the forester camp over here, which is good. So that should help repopulate this with trees. So I think this is where our problem is now lying with buildings. We've not got enough actual wood. We've got an awful lot of everything else by now, but the wood is severely lacking, as in literal just chopped plank. Uh, not even plank, sorry. Chopped wood. Just raw chopped wood, if you like, that hasn't been processed into planks. That is where our problem now is. Ah, right, now this is important. We could do with that being completed very, very soon. Because we're running out of berries. We've sort of gone round from about 150, 200. We're down to about 50-ish. It keeps peaking and then going back down again. So we could do with that being completed. Yes, right. Three people there. Absolutely put three people in this gathering camp. Is the uh, warehouse done? Right, the warehouse is done. It's already got someone working in it as well. That's quite good. Did that auto assign that? It must have done because I didn't tell it to do that. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Three people here. This is good. Maybe they can take the stuff to the warehouse. Uh, accepting berries. Yes, accept berries. Why not just accept everything? 
Let's accept all the things. Yes, 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 yes. I assume that's what it means. Put this stuff in the warehouse, please. Put all the stuff in there. Could do with that being done. Oh, come on. Finish one of these buildings. Either finish this gatherer camp just here, which needs a bit of wood. Or finish that one there, which needs some wood. Just finish one or the other, please. Yay, they've finished the farm. Right, okay. So, I've got no people currently available. So, we're going to take some people out of this woodcutting places here. The woodcutter camps. We're going to put them into the farm. So, two people can go and work in the farm. I've got nobody else at the minute. So, this windmill's got someone in. Why don't we take... Yeah, no, that's good, actually. We'll have a person in the windmill. In fact, no, let's take you out for now. It's more important that we have someone in the farm. So, that we can get more crops and more stuff. And it will just be very, very good. Okay. So, we've got a... The thing over here is sorted. We've got ourselves the warehouse. That's done. Two new villagers are joining. I've switched immigration back on. Our berries are looking pretty good again. So we need some more people to move in. Because we've got an awful lot of uh, awful lot of uh, space down here. And we've got a lot of jobs going. We've got a lot of buildings that need employment. But now we have a lack of people. So hopefully this will give us some more people. I don't know how many we get. Well, that's just two new villagers. So okay. So in six days, we will get ourselves... Another two people. Is that right? Or are they on their way now? I'm not entirely... I don't really know when they arrive. I'm not entirely sure. It takes them a little while to walk in, does it? Okay, that's fine. So now, do we go for... I think a gathering camp is okay now. I think berries, we've brought that back. That there has helped. This gathering camp, they gather berries from here. They put them in the warehouse. It's absolutely fine. There's 93 berries in that warehouse. That is tremendous. That's very, very good. So people can go to that warehouse and get stuff. Now, I assume that means they're not being sold. I'm not selling the berries or anything, am I? I don't want to sell the berries. I just want to use them to, that warehouse as a storage area, which would make sense. Right, both these are done, which is useful. We've got two more people. So we don't need anybody else in this gatherer thing here. We definitely need any more stone as it stands right now. What we could do with is more farmers. We've got more farming going on there. Let's put someone in here to be a baker. That's a good idea. And another person here. Charles, I'm going to that windmill. So currently, we've got no wheat, we've got no flour, and we've got no bread, which is affecting our happiness. Now, berries, the happiness is coming down for berries, I think. Bit of a bit of a spike, but it's fine now. Whereas, yes, the problem is now um, is going to be bread, I think. The problem is going to be bread again now, because we've got nothing. Berries, there's 140 of them. Bread, we've got nothing. We've got no wheat. We've got no resources of any kind. So, yeah, we need to kind of hurry this along, please. You can make more than that. There's loads of room. I've given you absolutely loads of space to go forth and, and plant lots of wheat. Don't be restricted by this space here. Why are you such a tiny farm? Why is this farm so teeny tiny? I would prefer it if it was much, much bigger. In an effort to make people come and live over here, because currently all the people that work here presumably live all the way over here. I mean, someone... And obviously, you could spend a lot of time rejigging this. Someone in this house here, I could have assigned to work all the way over here. So I'm going to put a few decorative trees down just to see if it brings more people in. So let's just dot them around the place. So yeah, let's just try and attract more people over to this new, sort of the new urban area, if you like. Uh, yeah, it's like a new town. It's kind of like Milton Keynes in the UK. If you're, if you're from the UK, you'll know what Milton Keynes is. It's a bit like Milton Keynes, but there's less roundabouts. Far less roundabouts. Right, and then under each one, let's put a decorative bush. Because hopefully this should make people want to come and live over here. There's plenty of stuff. There's plenty of resources and stuff. Like, you know, there's water and there's going to be food and what have you. So it's all looking good. So if we just drop these in, maybe people will start building houses over here as well, which should help because, yes, there's less distance for them to travel and stuff can get done quicker and what have you. So let's see if my slightly rubbish plan of just putting down some, uh, some trees will actually work. Right, we have four people with no jobs. This could be quite good. Let's assign another person to the bakers. So both of those got someone in. Yep, so both the windmills have got someone in. That's encouraging. Down here then, let's put somebody into here. So Oswald, which is a tremendous name, and female 1780, who is indeed very good at doing selling stuff, uh, can work in the little markets down here. We'll have two people in... I know, one person in the sawmill. So female 919 can go work in the sawmill. It's looking okay. Nobody's living down here yet, though. There's no actual residents. Now, I may well need to build either a church or a big house. Another one of these. What has the best draw? What's got the best sort of pull for desirability? It's the church, isn't it? The church is by far more impressive than that thing. So do we build another church, maybe in a different style, over here? That could be quite fun, couldn't it? 
That'd be quite cool. Yeah, so let's try do another church over there. That might be what we do. Another church just here, just to see if this area can work. But right now, I mean, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Let's turn off the uh, desirability layer for now, because it looks, it looks so pretty without it. It looks so pretty. So we might do that. Possibly put a church over here to see if we can turn this into a livable area, because there's lots of stuff going on. No actual houses yet. No people are actually living down here. So I suspect if we build a church, people might actually start living in this area. One thing we do need to do though now, because we've got we've got Richard. Richard's working hard to produce some wool. That wool is just sitting there being idle and not doing anything. So why don't we build ourselves, if we can go into the thing, why don't we build ourselves a weaver hut? It produces clothes in exchange for wool. It needs 20 wood, which we now have, which is good. Because I think things are sort of calming down a bit with the demands on buildings. Look at the amount of people coming down here. This is tremendous. There's so many people. There's so many people. Why not just live down here? Just live here. But yeah, shall we put that? Put him there? Put him there. Where's the front? Where do the front of the weavers thing might be? Do you know what? Let's just put it sideways and he can go in of his own accord. Let's just put it there next to the farm. I quite like the idea of that. Drop that in. Then we can have a weaver hut. We can see how that works. People are upgrading their houses. Jolly exciting. Yep, coming up great houses. It's all good. Oh, I like that look. They've forged a new path. They've obviously realised that going all that way is a bit slow. So they're just coming down here now and using this as a little path. That's very, very good. Uh, berries are slightly critically low at the minute. I'm not entirely sure why. 12 in there. Oh dear. Right, yeah, okay. We've got some people available. Let's put three people in that berry camp. Uh, yeah, bread is still the big issue. Berries, however, is slowly creeping up. And now we can put ourselves someone into the weaver hut. Female 1090. The seamstress from yeah that everyone knows about. They are oh, who's making the clothes. Oh, these are uh, these are a female 1090 outfit. Oh, she is the best at making woolen clothes. So yes, yeah, so we'll uh, put her in there. See how that works. And then we need to get ourselves some um, a little clothes selling hooks. When we've got some clothes, eventually when they appear, because obviously she needs time to actually make them. There's eight wool in there now. We've got 44 wool in total. That's crazy. We've got a cloth. We've got a cloth. So okay, it's not clothes. It's cloth. Right. Okay. So it's not a person actually making clothes. They just made some actual cloth. Right, and then a clothes market. Resources uh, needed to build. Okay, well, let's put one up here. Oh, it's a green little canopy thing. Okay. Yeah, I, I like this. I like this. Right, let's drop that there. Let's get that done. Let's see how that works then. So uh, how many? We've got uh, 10, 10 people live here, apparently. I think I might have exceeded the counter for 100. So we've got three newcomers, eight serfs, 97 villagers. What is a surf? What constitutes a surf? I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to put someone in here. We're definitely going to put someone in here as soon as we can. Come on, Claude, finish the building off. Splendid. So, Willibald, which is a brilliant name. I would love to meet someone called Willibald. That's a tremendous name. Willibald can go and work in there and sell some clothes. That could be exciting. Oh, technically, it's just cloth. It produces cloth, not clothes, but okay, that's fine. I'll go with it. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. My only disappointment is that nobody is living down here. There are still no houses down here. Even though this is a fairly desirable area to live, according to the desirability layer thingamabob. Look, it's quite green and nice around here. Nobody is actually living around here right now. So I think what we shall do is... I think we'll finish up for now. I think we've done quite a good job. We've got the stuff that we wanted to do. We've kind of set this stuff up. Yeah, we've got ourselves a sheep farm and the weaver hut and a clothes market. We'll put another clothes market down here, actually, because that was the whole sort of point of this bit. Little sort of market centre, which is lovely. Um, we've got those in. Oh, and in fact, you know what? Should we put one over here as well in our other little centre? Uh, oh, we might not be able to fit one in there. Oh, there we can. Yeah, there's always room. Look, you can go next to the decorative bush. Let's drop you just there. That's absolutely fine. I must remember they're there. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Look at Cupboard Town. I kind of took my eye off the ball looking at the new bit, but look at it. It looks tremendous. Right, I might have to temper my eagerness ever so slightly because happiness is plummeting. It was on sort of 80, well, earlier on it was on 90 something. It's come down a bit. Could not find bread, could not find berries. This is a problem. Right, let's turn off immigration. Maybe when the next people come in. In fact, no, let's turn it off now. Let's turn off immigration right now because I think we're going to be in trouble. Because we're running out of berries, we're running out of bread, we're running out of everything. I suspect we need a lot more stuff. So have we got people in? Have we got people here? We've got two people. A male... Oh no, have we gone through the male names now? Male 815 and male 1228. Yes, I hear they're also very good. So yeah, I think what we need to do is make sure we've got enough berries because berries are also low. So have we got three people assigned to each of those? Yep. 
I think we need to build another one of those. Another gatherer camp hut thing. Gathering camp. We need another one of those next to the berries. The, the, the berry mushrooms. We have another one of those. Stick some people in there. Then we might need to stick the immigration back on. Maybe. Maybe we don't. Maybe we need to take some people out of the stone camps. Thinking about it. Stone camps. Whatever they are. Oh, they are a stone cutter camp. It just makes it sound slightly more brutal than it actually is. Uh, let's take these people out. So Rupert... Uh, Florence and Rose can come out of there and then we'll have a couple from in here so Edith and Henri can come out of there so that's fine that's good I like that then we can put them into this one here that's just been built which uh oh no it's not quite finished yet it's not quite finished Grace is bringing two logs Grace come on Grace bring them a little bit quicker if you'll be so kind nope she's taking her time there we go. Good job, Grace. Right. Oh, no. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness. Is this how it all ends? Is this how it ends? So they can't find bread and they can't find berries. Now, berries are becoming a far bigger problem than uh, than you would expect. In fact, that is an awful lot of unhappiness there. Almost a quarter of our unhappiness is due to a lack of berries. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, and I, say, I don't understand. You use for stocking resources and trade. Well, hopefully I'm not trading my berries away. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? Trading resources. No trade in berries. Yes, yeah, so I'm not trading berries, which is fine. Can I buy berries? 20 bread. I could... Oh, no. They're not selling any. They're not selling berries. They're se oh, they're selling bread, however. Could I buy in some bread? Oh, that's quite a good idea. What's that? Marble. Okay, yeah, that's a thing that's going to appear in the future, isn't it? How about buy... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bread. Let's buy in some bread from the other place. If we're having problems getting bread, let's buy it in. Oh, our happiness is absolutely plummeting. It's a lack of berries again that's the problem. Ah, oh, the lack of berries is an absolute mega issue. Okay, we'll have to sort that out. But I think what we're going to do is... I think, do you know what, actually? I'm going to pause it just before it all goes wrong. So we can all remember that Cover Town was this good once before everybody leaves. <laughs> before all the people leave. We've got quite a lot of people. Uh, everybody is currently employed which is useful. That's quite good. Now, we could, in theory, bring down a couple of builders. We could readjust this, have a couple less builders, perhaps. We need more berries. So maybe we put another gatherer camp up here. Possibly. There's some berries there. Are there any berries anywhere else in our kingdom? I don't think there are within our sort of our borders, anyway. So we could certainly put another couple of camps up there, drag some people away from some other jobs, uh, maybe even take away some more of the stone people, put them up here. Certainly have a couple more gatherers up there. That'll help with the berries, I would hope. And then we need to sort the bread issue out. Because again, there's not enough wheat. We need farms. We need lots and lots and lots of farms. So many farms is what we need to supply bread to everybody. So I think that's what we'll do next time. And we'll try and make this place actual habitable. Because um, people, yeah, I've got the stuff here. But nobody's kind of living here. Which is a shame. So at the minute it's like a marketing, uh, a sort of a market outpost, not marketing, a market outpost with some sort of production stuff around the edge. I would like it to be a centre, a centre of, of a village. So we'll put a church over here, I think, another church. And we'll pick a different style to that one. That can be the blue church. This church over here, I can't remember the other ones were. Was it red or wood? I quite like the idea of a red church. I'm picturing it to be like this, but with kind of red tiling. But I hope it's a bit different. But yeah, we'll put a red church in, I think, possibly. Then we can have blue and red, and they could be competing churches, competing ideologies, and all that kind of shenanigans. What else is everyone complaining about? Oh, clothing. Right, is clothing going to be a thing now? Not as much as berries, unfortunately. Okay, fine. So berries are still the big issue at the moment. But yes, I think, I think what we'll do is we'll come back for one last part. Because I think... We've exhausted everything that we can do. We've exhausted all the buildings we can build. We now just need to sort of make it stable and working. So, yeah, one last part. Church, try and make this work. Put more things in, more farms, probably. Rejig stuff around and see if we can uh, keep keep Cover Town going. Because it's come this far. Maybe we've kind of peaked a bit too soon. Maybe we've gone, you know, we've expanded a bit too quick. I don't know. But we shall see what we can do in the next and probably final part of Foundation. But hopefully you are still enjoying it. Hopefully this is good. I'm really enjoying it. I like this game an awful lot and I hope you are too. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to see what happens to Cupboard Town and whether we can bring it back from the brink or whether everybody is just going to leave for somewhere far better that has more berries and bread. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! Don't have that, you buggers. 
This game is very hard, and it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.